Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the stream. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Him the God, aka HTG, aka the God. Uh, for those of you guys who are not subscribed, please make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, for those of you guys who are subscribed and like my channel, you know, and my videos, you know, I want to thank you guys very much. Uh, so yeah, today is 8-8-2022. August 8th, 2022. It's currently 10.25 p.m. out here in Chicago, man. And, uh, it's a little bit gloomy today, you know? Uh, a little bit gloomy, nothing crazy. Um, I actually enjoy this kind of weather, man. Because I could be wearing a hoodie. I could be wearing a jacket. Or I could be wearing a t-shirt, you know? And it's decent. It's definitely decent, you know? Um, so... You know, today on the live stream, I'm going to do some co-op, as you may know, as I always do. I'll go over my steps and my updates. And, uh, you know, I'll go over some things that, as you guys can see in the title, Issues Rage Quick Game Refuses to Fix. <laughs> FaZe, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Long time no see. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hey, Mandy. What's up? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, but before I get into it, first of all, uh, I want to give a shout out to my homie. Um, um, her name is Darky. And she just sent me some artwork, you know. And I'm going to call it fam art, right? F-A-M art, right? Because this is my sister from another mother. You know, she always been there since day one supporting me. And, you know, she sent me some art. Now, Shadow, I've seen all the art you sent me. And don't get me wrong, I'm going to share it. And I'm going to post it up, you know. But right now, I got to give the spotlight, you know, to some other people. And unfortunately, I ain't been able to keep up with all the stuff you've been sending me. Because I don't stream a whole lot, you know. But, uh, you know, Darky, this is the wolf that she uses. And then, you know, obviously, this is the big brother HTG, you know. So, wonderful job. I love the artwork. It's really good. You know, I love the style. It's different than your typical style. You usually have, Darky, you usually have a more cartoonish style. You know, this one has a little bit more realism to it now. So, you know, either way, I love it. Thank you so much. I love how the lightning strike is like different colors and stuff. Very, very, very good. Alright, so, uh, Brute, say what up? What up, Brute? How you doing? So, Brute's Nuki. I already know that, so what's up, Nuki? Welcome to the stream. Mandy said, I'm doing well, thanks. Hope you are too. That's a real cute drawing. Yeah, I'm doing wonderful, and, uh, you know what? It is a really cute drawing. Um... Alright, so uh, before I get into the co-op sesh, I'm just going to show you guys where I'm at. Since the last time I streamed, which was like only a few days ago, as you can see, I haven't upped anything. I mean, I don't think I did. Maybe I upped my attack by one. It takes me like two or three days to up my attack, guys. As you can see, I'm halfway, you know, right now, currently about to hit 7M uh, coins, which is halfway to what I need. You know, to get, um, and actually, you know what, I should probably, I should probably turn on my boost before I start doing these quests. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to turn on my boost, and I'm going to use my boost in Savannah for us, alright? Uh, so let's see, so, sorry, I gotta put the shield on again, right, so you guys can't see my, uh, information. Yes, guys. Believe it or not, I still buy Mega Boost. You know why? Because Mega Boost just gets the job done, guys. Mega Boost gets the job done. Now, this is a really nice Mega Boost because in this Mega Boost right here, um, let me show you guys. I got, I got 200% attack. 200% attack. So that's decent, you know. And hopefully, I can earn over a million coins with this Mega Boost. You know, I love it. And, um, yeah. But, uh, so let's start this co-op session. I'm just gonna go to my favorite map, Savannah Valley, right? 
and uh, you know, I'm just gonna start bringing, talking to you guys about the issues that you know Rage Quit Game has been having, guys. You know, uh, so here's the thing that grinds my gear. All right, so anytime there is an issue, an issue with the game, right? You know, everybody is scared to speak up about it. Everybody is scared to speak up about it. Now, the people that do speak up about it, right? They get banned. They get muted. All that stuff, right? You know, they get silenced, you know? And then it's like, when we speak up, the people who, like, you know, kind of, you know, like, try to follow the rules, but at the same time try to speak about it, they could only speak about it once, right? You could only... You could only claim an issue once and then you end up, you know, like they're like, oh, yeah You could only report an issue once, you know, like a bug once and then after that you're Spamming quote-unquote spamming right and it's like come on man like it's been like three weeks. It's been four months It's been two years since y'all had this issue man, you know, like I feel like it's been overlooked I feel like it's been overlooked because you know, I address issues Everybody address issues, you know, and we're supposed to just say it and then stay quiet, you know? Nah, bro. You know, so it's like, you know, I'm going to continue to keep saying this, you know. Uh, Discord has a system in place that, you know, <laughs> that is not convenient for the players and it's more convenient for, you know, the community, uh, for the community, not the community, for the developers, you know, like... You can only bring up a bug or an issue once, and after that, your comment's gonna get deleted because you already mentioned it, right? But it's like, come on, man, give us some updates on what's going on, man. Let us know that you heard or you've taken this down, and you know, cause come on, man, like some of these issues I'm gonna bring up. I wrote a whole article, and I'm sure half of you guys already read it, you know. But for those of you guys who don't want to read, you know, I'm gonna kind of go over it with you guys, give you more details. About what I'm talking about when I say, you know, they got is, you know, they got issues that's been going on for years, and they haven't done anything to fix it. Not that they haven't done anything to fix it, but it's like, man, come on, man. You guys made the whole game. You guys can do anything you want, you know. <laughs> Seriously, man. Um, face said, so uh, Mandy said the Discord reminds me of the closed door button. On an elevator of the pedestrian button at a crosswalk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's so messed up. Like, you can't, you can't say anything, you know. Anything that's uh, negative about the game or the community, you know. Like, they're really quick to shut you down, you know. I shared my last video talking about my Discord beef. You know, just beef with Discord, you know. And... I put it in self promo, right? Which is what you're supposed to do, right? And they took it down. I don't know why they took it down. Maybe because they think it's drama. But it's not really drama because I'm not having drama with any players. I'm just addressing my drama with the way things are handled, you know? Uh, but you guys, as you guys may know, you know, number one issue. What's up, the Blood Wolf? What's up? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing, man? Faze Morris said they need graphics more realistic than the wolf. I mean, I agree. There's a lot of room for improvements, guys. But before they improve the game, no. Before they roll out with new things, they need to improve the game. Like, you know, they're over here talking about... And this is why I spoke out about it again. You know, they made an announcement that uh, private servers were coming out. You know, and it's fine and it's great. And, you know, but at the same time, it's like fix pvp first before you bring out more private servers that's gonna make lag or whatever you guys are trying to do you know what i'm saying like come on man <laughs> you know and that's why i brought it up again because the first time the lag came out three months ago you know you know i brought it up and like i said before you know i thought that my issue was heard and that it was logged and you know once i figured out the kind of you know, that I'm pretty much being silenced or, you know, actually, like, being blocked from actually, you know, talking to the developers, you know. I decided to take issues in my own hand and decided to use my own platform to do certain things. Now, again, it's really hard for me to use my platform to really have me heard. 
like you know for like the developers to hear me because nobody f with me man nobody likes me like most people you know i could have the most valid points in the world the most valid point but if i'm not you know but because people don't like me they're not going to support me you know i asked everybody to share my posts earlier today you know and nobody did it's okay if they don't or not i i everybody's seen it you know and that's what matters you know and at the end of the day you know all these issues that i brought up you know man they're valid and i know every single player whether they like me or not agree you know there's a player on discord i'm not gonna say their name there's a player on discord that is always bashing me always saying bad stuff about me you know like it could be a simple question like who is your favorite content moderator this person will not answer the question who's their favorite content moderator, but they'll make sure to say, oh yeah, it's not HTG, you know, that type of hater, right? You know, this person accused me of using VPN, you know, and things like that, you know, but then I'm over here complaining about the lag and how everyone's, bla you know, trying to say that I'm cheating and using VPN when really it's the lag, you know? This person won't support me, even though, you know, they're literally the person that accused me of using VPN and I'm telling you guys I'm not, you know. But anyways, man, you know, it's time for us to start coming together, you know, as a community again. We, you know, when there is real issues, man, we got to bring it up, man. We got to do something, you know, we got to show them that, you know, we don't need to be on Discord, you know, and being, you know, moderated by them. You know, if we feel strongly about something, we got to speak up, man. And like I said before, Discord has taken that away from us. You know, it makes us feel like we're being heard when in reality, I mean, I don't think we're being heard, man. You know? Uh, but anyways, let me get into it. Let me kind of explain to you guys some of the issues. You know, I'm not even going to go over the PvP lag because I already did a whole stream about that. A whole stream about the PvP lag. I'm going to go over... So the first issue I'm going to bring up that's been there forever is when you die, right? When you get killed by a skill or anything like that, you know, when, you de when you're dead and you're about to respawn, somebody uses TS or Hail or Poison Cloud, you respawn in the den and you're affected by the skill, you know? You're literally getting ts in the den. You're getting hailed on in the den. You're poisoned. You can't even leave the den. You know, people take screenshots of you being done because you're actually poisoned and you can't come out of the den until you're done being poisoned. You know, like, come on, man. That's the that's a stupid issue that's probably really easy to fix, you know? And it's like, come on, man. You guys got, like, 100 QAs. You guys need to fix this. This, is, this has been going on every single, you know, since, since Legend Mountain was the biggest man. Literally, you know, like this issue has been around forever. I brought this glitch to be fixed before, you know, or whatever, you know. Let me remind you guys, Bug Report Channel wasn't always around. Before Bug Channel, it was Suggestions. Ch suggestions was actually the Bug Report Channel, right? You know, but whatever, man. I brought it up to be fixed, you know, and that's, that was when I was naive and believed that, you know, they actually listen to what we say, you know, or actually take us seriously or think that we're going to forget. Oh, yeah, you know, we we explained our, you know, we explained our issue with them, you know, and that's it. End of it. No, man, y'all got to update us on this on this stuff. You guys got to let us know that you're working on it, man. You guys are always running, rolling out, you know, bug fixes and, you know, I'm looking at the change logs that, like, whenever they say bug fixes or when they do things. And the issues that they fix are the dumbest issues that I've never heard before, you know. I remember one of the bug fixes they're talking about was, you know, there's animals tickling you from underground. You guys gotta see this. There's, there's There was one bug fix update that rolled out, like, maybe, like, a month or two ago. Talking about that they fix the fact that animals come from you, underneath you. And tickle you and I'm like what I've never even heard of this issue you know I want to see what issue you're talking about you know they're fixing all these dumb issues that we never asked to be fixed you know and yeah I mean don't get me wrong I'm not trying to completely bash them right yeah they fix some stuff you know yeah they do some stuff right you know 
But some of these issues, you know, have been going on around forever. You guys remember, um, you guys remember the damage boost glitch? I used to love that glitch. And I wish that they would have kept it where, like, after you die, right, you still have the damage boost effect until the damage boost effect actually runs out, man. That was a good glitch. You know, nobody ever complained about it, right? Because we wanted it to be kept, you know, and all that. You know, but they fixed it eventually after, like, four updates. Like, literally, we thought they forgot about it, but they didn't. So, yeah. Uh, so, let's see. So, Brute said, I gave up suggestion. It never happens. They might glance at it, then go back to doing whatever. Exactly. Exactly. And the problem, too, is because, you know... <laughs> There's a lot of people that suggest stupid stuff, you know, and that's why it's like, man, when you guys are nitpicking at the fact that, you know, I didn't do something correctly on Discord, you know, that's messed up because, you know, some people, you know, suggest the dumbest things in the world, you know, and you guys let them keep it and that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, you know, but, you know, when someone has real issues, you know, or like has real concerns, man, you guys got to make sure that those things are heard, you know. You're over here making a log of, you know, adding unicorns to the game. You know, making us, making us, the community stupid, look like we're stupid and we make dumb suggestions, you know. And then all the real suggestions, you guys are cutting them off the Discord or deleting them for technicalities, you know. And it's just garbage, man. You know, you guys have no idea how many people in my inbox are scared to speak up, you know. But... Not scared to speak up, but it's that they feel like even if they speak up, it won't make a difference. You know, and I agree. I feel the same way too, but you know what? I was given a platform, you know, and I'm going to do my best to use my platform and my voice to kind of, you know, try to change things. Because obviously, you know, I don't feel like things are getting done properly, you know. The issues that I bring up are not like petty issues. There's a lot of stupid issues, you know. There's an issue right here where, like, if there's another player close by you that walks by and you attack an animal, sometimes your skills don't work, right? You know, because the animal, I don't know for whatever reason, but sometimes when other players are close to you and you attack a player in co-op, you know, the animals, they don't get damaged, you know? But that's kind of petty because, you know what, it's whatever. It is what it is, you know, and I'm hoping that they'll fix it, you know, but they won't. <laughs> Alright, Mandy said, how about fix Tropical Forest, uh, zero since Savannah added. Uh, wait, what should they fix about Tropical, oh, Tropical Quest, yes, 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 that's, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good, um, that's a good point, yeah, man. Ever since Savannah came out, you know, there, there's only been Savannah Quest, I haven't gotten a quest from Tropical Forest at all, you know. Now, I think somebody brought up that issue, right, that that tropical forest quests are not coming up and i do remember blue saying something about it you know but if we don't keep on it and keep saying something about it man i guarantee you guys it's not gonna get fixed man we gotta get on it you know we gotta tell them we gotta remind them man there's a lot of stuff that be going on that they just be forgetting you know and again it's not the discord people either it's not just blue it's the actual de developers the actual people who manage this game you know it's like they maybe spend one day to try to fix it but then they're gonna move on and try to fix something else you know i don't know how they manage their issues and how they fix them man but they need to be fixed man you know paul daniel you know y'all need to get y'all peoples on check Look, the owners of Rage Quit Game, one is named Paul, one's named Michael, and one's named Daniel, right? You know, and, and they need to keep their team on check, you know? Because, I don't know, man. They need to, you know, like, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of stuff going on that I don't know, I guess. But still, man, y'all got to do one thing at a time. Stop adding private servers when you ain't even got the regular servers working properly. You know, and what grinded my gear the most is that I'm saying fix PvP lag and they deleting it because they're saying that I'm not being elaborating enough, right? But it's like, bro, it's so obvious that there there's something wrong with PvP, you know? And while having that discussion, you know, I'm finding out that It's Blue has no idea what I'm talking about, you know? And then the, the people who 
I don't know how to say. I'm gonna say it, you know, and I apologize for swearing, but the people that kiss ass, they try to pretend like there's no issues too, man. You know, like they're over here talking about, they're over here talking about, uh, like, oh yeah, it's not the game, it's your device. But it's like, no, there's no way it's my device. If my device was laggy, I would be skipping frames. You know, come on, man. Right now, I'm live streaming while playing an, a graphic, heavy, intense mobile game, you know? And I'm playing just fine, you know? It's obviously something wrong with the servers, you know? Now that, you know, we got proof and people have finally been speaking up about this issue, you know? Now it's Blue's finally saying, okay, there is some kind of things that aren't synced properly or whatever. But, you know, early on when I brought up the issue, they were acting like they this is the first time they heard about it, you know? Anyways... Uh, so, so Mandy said I was literally just gonna quote that tickly line. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what it is. I wish the glitch was still around because I wanna get tickled. That would be funny to see. You know, I'd make a YouTube short about getting tickled. Uh, Mandy said the damage and shield boots glitch was awesome. It was. Um. Mandy said the animals lock on to them instead of you and somehow some skills only work if the animals locked on to you Exactly, that's exactly the reason and what's funny is that us who play the game You know like we're able to diagnose the real reason why you know and obviously that can be a con That obviously could be a connectivity issue with the other animals and whatever but man they need to they really need to fix it man Reaper Goku said it'd be laggy for me when I be in PvP, bro. This is old news for uh, us players. This is old news. It's unfortunately it's news to you know to rage quit games, you know. But it's been old news for us, you know. And we've been praying and waiting patiently for them to fix it. And you know, I when I found out that my stuff got deleted and that they weren't aware of any such thing, dude, I was I was upset, man. And I'm still upset, man. That's why I'm bringing this up right now, talking about issues that haven't been fixed yet. That's why I'm bringing that up. Games, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Lana, what's up? Good morning. How are you doing? Creativos con cartoon. Creative with cartoons? What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Game said, all. Oh, is this the new map? Yeah, this is a new map called Savannah. It's really good, man. Um, I really like the new map, you know. Um... A lot of it is recycled from uh, the tiger. A lot of it, you know, um, which is kind of disappointing to be honest because I felt like Tropical Forest was already recycled from, you know, the tiger, just a little bit more low key. And then this is like high key, it's recycled from the tiger. You know, um, obviously they still added some new animals. You know, they still did their part, but, you know. I mean, it is what it is, you know. I'm trying to wait for dinosaurs. Mandy said, another super frustrating issue is birds loading in inaccessible area. Yep. So this is what's going on, man. Like, yeah, like, always. Th and this has, like, been an issue for a long time where animals fly too high. And really what it is is because they spawn on top of items that, you know, I don't know how the spawn works or whatever. But unfortunately, they spawn on top of things, and they can't go any lower, you know. And that is frustrating, and it is an easy issue, easy issue for them to fix, man. Just stop spawning these flying creatures next to trees. That's it. Or rocks. Or whatever it is. Now, it took me forever, but I was able to bring down... And you know what's the messed up part about these flying animals? You know... It's always like a champ or something that you need, you know? It's always something you need. It's never like, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say never, right? But that's what's messed up, man. It's always like a champ or something stuck up there. <laughs> you know, it's just so teasing, you know? But again, to me, not too big of a deal, you know? Because I, those kind of little glitches, they do fix, you know? I mean, they do fix, they, you know, like for example, you guys remember that cave in a wild tundra? There was always this bird on top of the cave in Wild Tundra, you know, like, right. You know, they, they, they kind of learned, they fixed that issue, you know. There used to be a lot of birds flying around in, 
you know, tropical forest where they weren't supposed to. Now it only happens sometimes by that secret tunnel at the end, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, right here, it happens all the time, you know, especially right here in the middle, you know, right here with the trees and stuff. They always be spawning these birds that, you know, just, yep. But it's all right, man. I mean, that's, to me, that's not too big of a issue because my major issues are PvP issues. Because I'm a huge competitive PvP player, you know? And to me, like, anything that makes me feel, I, you know, like, it makes, anything that just annoys me about PvP is because I feel like, man, you know, like, if it wasn't for that, you know, this wouldn't have, they wouldn't be, you know, doing so well. GRPS, Ava the Wolf said, hi, HTG, and there's only one glitch I liked before. It was HP gl glitch where you don't die. Um, I, I don't really remember the HP glitch. I remember the zombie glitch where I think like you would watch an ad or something with the iPhones and then you could go around being a zombie killing people. Oh, I hated that glitch so bad. You know, to be honest, I don't understand why people didn't use that glitch in co-op because that's probably where it would make more sense to use. You know, the zombie glitch, the invincibility glitch, or invincibility or whatever. But nah, people were always in PvP playing unfair. It, it was funny, because I used to den these people, and then you would just see them leave out of nowhere and come back as zombies, and it's like, ah, oh, garbage. Garbage. Uh, Game said, I've noticed that you are a lot more energetic. You know what? Um, today I had an easy day at work, and, you know, sometimes I just don't feel like streaming you know but today I'm very passionate about you know trying to get our issues heard and resolved you know some people you know I don't know man some people gave up they don't care but guys we gotta bring it up we gotta say we gotta take a stand and say something you know we did it before with venomous skin heck we complained so much about venomous skin they hired a whole community manager you know to to be able to you know keep us on check Felicia said hello what's up Felicia welcome to the stream how are you doing Brute said PvP is frustrating when I can actually l load it because um, I'll be hitting bodies with thunder or having a delayed dead body oh you'll be hitting dead bodies yeah I hate that man it happens mostly like when you port, you know, because when you're port, it's just like taking a whole long time to load. You'd be wasting skills on dead body. You'd be trying to throw skills and locking on dead bodies, you know. I feel like people be sneaking up on you and it's hard to tell that they're sneaking up on you because you can't even tell that they're close to you until they're close to you, you know. Like literally like, you know, you're just like before you could even react, you know, they're over here, you know in your face doing the ES on you. Mandy said it's not a deal breaker, it just sometimes feels like they only fix stuff that makes money. Now I'm all for devs getting paid and earning money. I love the game, but it feels a little dismissive. Yes, exactly. I mean I before this whole drama I was very supportive of the developers and the game. I always gave them the benefit of the doubt. And you know, and again, it's not really the developers who are doing me bogus, you know. It's just that I'm starting to realize that, man, you know, like, you know, first you guys dismiss my issues. And then, you know, and and then it's like, have all my issues been dismissed and deleted? Or is it, you know, or are you guys just ignoring it, you know? Uh, but anyways, I'm going to bring up another issue that be happening on the game so multiple kill count multiple kill count right so what that happens and it's in pvp is say you use a skill that kills everybody all of a sudden like a trap even freezing breath um you know anything fire nova electroshock all of these skills that kill everybody at the same time in one shot you know because um, those kills are only counted as one. As you guys can see, I have 311,000 killed enemies. I'd probably have 312 
313,000 killed enemies if it wasn't for the fact that you know all these three kills these four kills count as only one you know and you don't get me wrong you still get coins for it you still get exp for all the kills it just doesn't count you know um so when you're in a war when you're having people you know or when on you looking at your stats not all kills count man you know and that's kind of messed up you know not too many people care about it because they don't really care about pvp stats and killing people but you know what i care about it you know and at the end of the day you know you guys should too you know and it's an issue that hasn't been fixed you know every time people bring it up they're like oh yeah it's been worked on but you know like okay well tell them that it's been brought up again and that they need to continue to work on it it's not that hard i mean like i'm not a game developer or anything but come on man guys you know you're creating new maps you're creating new rooms you know you guys are creating new things you know fix the old things you know stop stop adding things that and make you know i'm forgetting about the importance of the other thing oh wow i didn't kill that thing you know so yeah multiple kills counting as one is a huge issue for me personally because man you know i i love killing people you know electroshock we're always killing two or three people at the same time you know and we want to see that we want to see that Jet said, I missed the glitch when you would port then before killing a champ and give five times the gems. Oh yeah, everybody loved that glitch. Nobody reported that glitch except for the Karens. You know, and guess what? They fixed that right away. They fixed that right away. You know what's messed up too is I didn't know how to do it. And I didn't understand why people did it, you know. But I guess people did it and I finally learned how to do it. And like literally like when I learned how to do it a month later, they fixed it. You know, which is cool, man. I mean, I didn't get to use it that much anyways. And to be honest, i much rather get the last kill. The problem with that is everybody... No, the good thing about that glitch is that everybody would pour a horn home and let you kill the champ. And you still got the most gems because, you know, you... You ended up... Uh, whatchamacallit? You ended up getting the last kill, you know? But it's alright, man. I mean, I used to love the glitch where the traps... You know, you guys remember when like you would put down a trap? To be honest, this is how traps came to life, right? Traps before was so bogus. Traps before you couldn't, you if you set down a trap and somebody bit you or did anything, traps got canceled. You know, traps got canceled, it was shut down. Then out of nowhere, they came out with an update. You had to use a trap, and as soon as you use a trap before you die, man, it would get it would get put down before you left, you know, and it was so cool because man, it was the beginning of traps. After that, everybody was using traps, you know. It was a glitch, but everybody was using it because they knew it was gonna stay. Then they finally fixed the glitch, right, where the trap, uh, you know, didn't, you know, like wasn't getting put down if you died. However, they left it where you couldn't get interrupted, and that's I think that that's good and that's fair. So that was a glitch that actually. You know worked out for the best you know and now every, you know now everybody use trap that's why all these old players you see having a uh, shield you know because you know they over here never learn how to play with traps now don't get me wrong there's a lot of new players adapting all right so don't start bashing me og players about you know but you know that's real talk traps are key man you know they're great in co-op they're great in uh pvp Um, alright, so here, what's my next issue? VPN, oh my god, VPN. You guys understand what VPN is and how it works, man? VPN is a stupid... VPN is for, like, f people who are, like... I don't know why you would need VPN, man. You know, like, what are you doing on the web? What are you doing, you know, that you need a VPN? You know, like, are you, like, you know buying drugs online or something <laughs> but vpn what it does pretty much is it gives you a private network how does it do that what it does is it has the website go through the vpn network you know it uses the vpn as a middleman right now vpn should really only be used you know when you're browsing the web when you're doing things that are like you know um you know that should be kept private you know like say you're running a business or something or whatever you know but like some of these people, man, 
you know, they use VPN in the game. And what they do is they try to use VPN to glitch the game out because whenever you have VPN, they always try to offer you to use the fastest servers, right? There's different servers around there's different servers around the globe, around the world, right? And what they do is they you know, they tell you how fast and how slow these servers are. And what people in the wolf does is they connect to the slow servers. So what this does is it allows the cheaters, I repeat, and this is what I think, it allows the cheaters to use this so then they are immune for like two seconds or so. Because what it does is, because it's la it's so laggy, right? Because it goes through the virtual private network and then it goes to your phone. And then your phone has to respond back to the private network before it goes back to, you know, the game, right? And what it does is like, it makes them immune for like a minute, for like two seconds, right? So like, say you have a trap set down, right? And some guy's running towards it using VPN. He's literally gonna run through that trap and still get to you and kill you. And kill someone else and then die. That type of stuff, you know, it shouldn't be happening. You know, with VPN, you're literally over here like killing him with ES. The guy still stays alive, kills you with his claw, and then dies, you know. So many things, you know, you end up wasting skills. Like literally the lag that PvP has right now, it's like, it's kind of like how VPN works, but worse. You know, and now with the lag and VPN, man, it's just so terrible, man. You know, and you know, the Wolf developers, you know, and I'm going to show you this right now, all right? I'm about to report this person right here. Oh, no, I won't do it. But um, I was going to show you guys, when you report someone, there's three things that you can report them for. You could um, report them for verbal abuse. You could report them for hacking and modding. And when you do that, you know, one of the options or you can report them for using a third party software to gain advantage, right? It's against the tournament conditions for you to use a third party software as an advantage, you know? But we bring it up to the community discord, you know, and you know, over here, Blue, every time we bring it up to Blue, he just says, I don't see the problem with using VPN. Here's the problem with Blue, man. You know, he doesn't get into wars. He doesn't get into fights. He doesn't know what it is to really war, you know? And the problem with that is people who, when he does play, people play nice. They, they're not going to play like they play versus us. You know, they're going to behave. So half of the time, the, these cheating tactics, the stupid stuff that they do, you know, he's not going to see. He's not. And to be honest, I have it's on my friends list, right? I'm going to show you guys right now. I have it's on my friends list. Where is he? He's all the way down here somewhere. It's blue. See? I have him. He's never online. He's never online. For those of you guys who also have him in the game, he's never online, guys. So, you know, to be honest, Blue, as a community manager, you really need to be online more, you know, to moderate the community, you know? Like, that's where the real community comes from, you know? you, It's cool you take care of the Discord and stuff like that, but if you really want to be a real community manager, be able to relate to people and understand their frustrations and things like that and be able to be a voice for us to the developers if you want to do that you need to be online and play bro straight up and i feel like you don't do that and you know what you know that's a huge disadvantage for everyone you know vpn is terrible and i hate that when we bring it up you dismiss it like it's not a cheating you guys need to figure out a way to fix that straight up you know, whether if your game can't handle VPN, if there's too much lag or ping, that person should not be able to connect to the servers and that's it. You know, teach them that, hey, you know what, if you have, if your ping, you know, your ping usually is supposed to be about like 52 seconds. That's like the maximum it should be. It should not be over 100, you know, but whatever, man. Uh, Mandy said you haven't left the upper quadrant at all this time so far. I yes, I haven't because you know what this guys this is where I co-op. Let me show you guys my score by the way. I have seven hundred thousand, and I've been and I'm not even paying attention. I'm not. I'm using skills randomly. I'm just messing around. I already have seven hundred thousand uh, score, which means I mean look at how many coins I made. I already made almost two million coins. I think I made two million coins. But anyways, 
Yeah, I don't leave the the top quadrant because this is where all the big animals uh, spawn, and they spawn in groups. You know, like you know, they do. You know, anywhere else, I'm gonna have to do a lot more running. I'm gonna have to do a lot more looking for them. You know, here it's just very easy, very simple, and you know, I still have four minutes of um, damage boost. Last time when I was actually paying attention, I ended up getting um, one million with mega boost. I ended up getting a total of one million score, and um, you know, now I'm not really paying attention. I'm using. I'm probably using skills I shouldn't be using, but it's whatever. So that's where it is, guys. Obviously, if you see me in the room, stay out of my way, right? Let me do my thing, <laughs> you know? But this is where, that's where it's at right now, guys. Oh, I love killing dino fellas. And I can't wait till they come out with dinos, fellas. That's so dumb, right? <laughs> but I love this is where this is the only place where I co-op and you guys saw too man I got a decent amount of chance to in this session. I wanna say I got at least ten. At least ten champs. By the way guys, I finally hit twelve thousand champs guys. Good you know, just from being greedy and stuff. Yes, I am very greedy guys. Um because you know I don't participate in their sharing, whatever they're doing, you know, or at least I try not to. Maybe I might randomly randomly run up to someone's champs and kill it, but you know, I'm not paying attention to chats or running towards their directions because they called out a champ. Uh, Reaper said VPN also helps when people on Xbox hit them up with borders. I'm telling you, VPN is just messed up, man. It's just like, dude, like you shouldn't use it, you know? And but people do you know and it's and it's hard to moderate but if you know if somebody gets caught using it or if there's a way for them to like prevent VPN to do that you know like just do it man tell people to stop using it you know Brute said uh, I'm gonna go to sleep night I'll watch back over in the morning it's alright man I'm almost done man to be honest you know my boost is about to run out which means that my stream is about to be over 40 minutes long, which means that I gotta cut it off before everybody goes to sleep. <laughs> Manny said, that's crazy. You're at at least 10 champs too without leaving. Look at that. Number 11 right here, son. And then, um... Battlefox04 said, hey, HTG, what's up, Battlefox? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for showing up. You know, unfortunately, I'm almost done with this whole stream or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna wait to claim this. I need those 25 gems. Uh, but here, let me bring up another issue. Hackers, man. Hackers! Why is there still hackers in this game, man? There is still hackers, bro. Uh, you know, and it's just so stupid because it's just like, come on, man. You guys are losing money by letting these hackers you know have these fake accounts because they're never gonna spend no money man they're just gonna find a way to hack you know and I don't know man like sometimes you report these people that you know that they hack but they don't they don't get banned you know and it's like how bro how you guys gotta be able to do more research on these people you know you know like the other time when I was streaming I was showing you guys this person who had like 24,000 champs and only 300 hunted animals you know like 300,000 hunted animals but they had 24,000 champs which is double what I got and I got double and I got double whatever it is that they you know so it's just like obviously they didn't find the hack you know but it's like bro it's obvious what they did you know they made a champ room with another account that they don't care about that get you know and then they over here farming in that account that's what they're doing you know, I mean, I've seen people make champ rooms before, you know, and I literally leave because I don't want people to think that it was me who did that, you know, like, plus I have money. I don't need to hunt that many champs to buy, to, to get gems, you know, it's more for stats and stuff like that. But man, that's what people do, man. They're over here using these accounts that they don't care about, you know, to 
make these champ rooms and then they join that room and you know and they get it oh guys my damage boost just ran out I mean I'm a damage boost my mega boost uh, so fortunately I'm gonna have to go guys thank you so much all for tuning in uh, you know those were just some of the features that I truly believe have been around for I mean not features issues that have been around forever that have never been fixed and that need to be fixed and guys please you know like don't let them silence you man like you think that you bring it up once and it's gonna get fixed and it's in the priority of the list no man they're too busy trying to make money which is fine like Mandy said earlier their main goal is to make money but until they understand that without fixing those issues they're gonna lose money man they're gonna keep doing that man Discord is just a front for you to feel like you're being heard, you know, but we need to be heard the right way. We need to stress these things the right way, you know. Nobody brings up issues on Instagram anymore or complains on Instagram anymore. You know, nobody shares each other's issues anymore because they feel like they have Discord and it's blue to, you know, handle those things. But come on, man. Real talk. How many times have you brought something up to them and you got it fixed? When? Never, man. It never happens. Never happens for me. I'm still waiting for them to fix VOC. <laughs> you know, but it's whatever, man. Right now, that's not that VOC is very specific, very t to me. You know, I'd rather have them fix the major issues that are super obvious, like the PvP lag, and they still haven't done that. But until then, guys, have a great night. Thank you so much all for tuning in, guys. If you guys want to read the article that I wrote about this, you know, it's in the link. It's in the link in the description. Uh, and uh, anyways, I'll be streaming soon. Jasper, thank you for stopping by, man. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Good night.